Hi, this is Igor from hdhat.com. You might have noticed in Resolve 15 that we have these fusion title presets. I'll drag and drop one of them. And that's nice, but we can actually make our own and they don't even have to be titles. So let's select this clip, delete it, and I will go to the effects library generators and drag solid color onto the timeline. It's a five second black clip. Before we can take it into Fusion, where we're going to make our template, we have to turn this solid color generator into a compound clip. Black for templates. This clip has ended up in here at the root level. I'll drop it into our sources. That doesn't really matter. But let's go to Fusion. And here in Fusion, that black clip we generated is represented by media in node. We actually don't need it and don't want it. So I will delete it. Okay, let's add a 3D title. Add a 3D merge, a 3D camera, and a spotlight. Then we'll right click the merge 3D, go to view on, left view or number one. And we'll also add one more thing, that's Render 3D, which is going to take this 3D geometry and turn it into a rendered two-dimensional image, which we cannot see yet, but we will in a second. I will right-click on our left view, go to Views, Quad View. So now we have the top, front, right, and perspective view. Let's select our camera down here and pull it back. And as you can see now, the our 3D text is coming into view. It still doesn't look 3D because it has no extrusion, but if we select the text 3D, go to extrusion, and let's give it a little bit of ex extrusion depth. From the top view, you can see that these letters have become thick now, but they're rendered all flat, and we can fix that by going to render 3D and enabling lighting. And the reason the text is black now is because the spotlight is placed at the same plane as the text itself, we can move it back. While we're there, spotlight selected, let's make that fall off a little softer, like that. I will also select the text and bring it down to the bottom of the screen, and maybe even rotate it. I'll do it here in the inspector. I'll rotate it along the x-axis. You can see the bottom. And let's add a couple of more lights. I'll select the Merge 3D. One way to add tools is by going to the effects library, going to tools, 3D, light, and let's add a point light and a directional light. Click the directional light. We can turn off the effects library, by the way, to get a little more room up there. With the directional light selected, we can decrease the intensity. I'll do the same on all three of our lights. and point light, and we can maybe color the point light and put it in the back so it's lighting up the bevels. So now it does look like we need a little more light on the front. Ah, made a mistake. I moved the spotlight in the back. Spotlight should be in the front. Okay. Point light in the back. There you go. So we'll give a little more light to the spotlight. And let's animate it. We can move the light here in the quad view, but we can also move it right here. At the beginning of the timeline, I will keyframe this position. We'll go to the end and place it there. Let's rewind. Push play. In order to make this into a template accessible from the edit page, we first have to create a Fusion macro. So I will drag and select all of these nodes, right click on any of them, and go to the macro, create macro. We can name this into whatever you want, let's say my template, and I will uncollapse this first list. This is a list of all the nodes that are making up this composition. And you see there are all these checkboxes. Whatever I check will be exposed as a parameter control to the user. So in the text node, I will select styled text and font. 
style text is the text box where we can custom enter our text and font is the font selection and let's do size we can change the size as well so these three we'll have these three parameters accessible to us from our custom template then I will also make our light intensity our spotlight intensity accessible from the template by selecting this we'll say close and we'll save the changes yes this is we'll have a little bit of difference depending on what operating system you're on whether you're on OS 10 Linux or Windows in Windows the templates typically need to be saved on the C drive you may need to enable show hidden files option down here to see the program data folder Blackmagic Design DaVinci Resolve Fusion Templates Edit Titles and this name was inherited from the name that we typed up in that dialog box a few steps back we'll say save and over here I have that exact same path and as you can see that is our macro so we can go back to the edit page but if you look at the effects library titles my template is not here in order for it to appear we have to quit and restart resolve and after a restart my template is available I'll drag and drop it onto the timeline on track 2 let's put something underneath so you can see that these, this is actually keyable okay and it animates as well and if you select the template on the timeline click on the inspector you now have the text field you can change the size and the intensity of the light now I'll show you a little hack that helps so you don't have to quit and restart resolve once you have any custom template saved like this my template right here you can overwrite that and it will be immediately available to the edit page so let's go back to Fusion. I'll select and delete all of these nodes. Let's click here for a noise generator. I will right click here and say Views and turn off the quad view. And maybe I'll also turn off the left viewer by clicking here. Let's expand our view a little bit. Okay, there's a little bit of motion that I said would see rate. So I'll take just this one node, right click it, create a macro, same steps like we did last time, and I will expose the lock XY, scale X and scale Y, as well as the seed rate to the user. We can, we can leave the macro name as macro tool one, it doesn't matter. We'll close, save changes, yes, but instead of navigating step by step like we did last time what I can do is I can just copy and paste this path add a slash and um, my template uh, you have to make sure you overwrite the the old one save yes we do want to overwrite drag my template over to the timeline let's put something in the back like uh, this flower and you can see our effect is right there and lastly how do we remove these uh, templates right clicking doesn't really give you an option to delete it appears that the only way to do that is by doing it on the OS level finding the location where the uh, template is saved and deleting it from here so if I do this hit delete it's gone however it still appears in resolve and it will be there until we restart and that's it